Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a look at the Hussar RTA, which is this thing, which is sitting on top of my Darwin Mods Gecko. And, um, right, short and sweet version. Um, I did a vlog uh, just there the other day, and in that vlog I said that this was potentially one of my favourite RTAs of the year so far. Um, I did have a couple of little niggles with it, but overall I am very impressed with it. I'll cover spec, pricing and, and all the information I know I will share with you. Um, I just want to put a shout out to Darren from Oriental Vape. Uh, now you can get this for, I think it's $199 from Darren. Uh, you can go along to his Facebook page or um, is it Kuala Lumpur? Uh, you can go along there if you're local. He has a shop there as well. Uh, but he sorted this all out. It was then posted to me direct from Hussar Vapes, who are in Poland, where this is made. Uh, it's all made. It's not. There's nothing outsourced to China, anything like that. It's all made in Poland. This did come out earlier in the year, but then the, there was an initial, an initial batch, uh, but then the next batch they had some QC problems uh, so they just waited till they got everything right and they've just released another batch. There are, you can buy it from their own website, there are various resellers all over the place. Um, I think it's about 179 euros that you will pay for the standard tank. Now the standard, standard tank spec goes something like this. And as far as I know, you can either specify to buy it with the single coil deck or the dual coil deck. I have both of those decks here and I will show them to you. This does fit into the the, the, the price point. It's not a cheap RTA. Uh, and it does fit in with uh, the K-Fun, the Rose, the Squape and, and all that kind of stuff. You know, it's the, the Uber 2, they're all in the kind of the same ballpark. Um, I have owned all of them, vaped with all of them, so I'll be able to give you kind of my thoughts and what I think of it. And I seem to be ending all my sentences on a high note, uh, and I've no idea why. Uh, right, without <laughs> any further ado, close-ups. When your device arrives, it's going to arrive in a little tub just like this. Um, so you've got the, the classic new way inside. You're going to find a little bit of straw in the bottom and all your goodies. You will get an authenticity card uh, here that uh, is going to say hello and uh, tell you a little bit about the device. And inside you will find something like this, but uh, the device will be assembled. Uh, now the only thing that you have to choose when buying this is do you want to go for the dual coil deck or do you want to go for the single coil deck? And here's the two of them here. I'll go into more detail on these in a little sec. If you go for the you know the dual coil deck, you're going to get a little Allen key. You will get a bag of spares, O-rings, screws, and so on. You are going to get uh, two tanks, stainless steel and a PMME or a poly polycarbonate tank, um, and it's uh, 5.7 mils that this holds. It holds a fair scalp of juice. Chimney, top cap, bottom cap or bottom deck, uh, and that's it. Right, let's put this together. Now this is 22 mils in diameter and uh, I think this was, oh god, I've, I've completely forgotten what I measured that out at. That's old age for you, that sucks. Uh, yeah, 7 by 2.5 millimetres for the airflow here. And yes, you can adjust it. Um, not so easy when I've not got the whole thing together, but I'll come back to that at the end. And there we go, we have designed and made in Poland. Right, so that's the bottom, you have a serial number. So you have to decide what deck you want to use. So here's a single coil deck, uh, and, and I'm cheating, I'm leaving my pre-built coil in here, uh, because I enjoy using it. Uh, now, uh, these basically, is just threaded here, you've got an O-ring there, and these just pop in, push it down slightly, and you just screw it down. And there we go, that's it. All good to go. You do have an adjustable 510 pin here. Uh, and 
you can see now that uh, now I've got something I can purchase on I can adjust the airflow fully closed fully open now on the single coil deck I do make the, the air hole underneath is about 3mm in diameter um, you do use, you put your coils underneath the terminal screws at the top here very very easy to build on uh, I've put my coil up uh, I could have put it the other way, I could have had it closer to the, the air hole there you can do whatever you like with it basically now uh, wicking on this is, you can see you've got holes in the side here I'll just come up and show you that a bit better holes there and a hole there and it just comes up into that hole here and that hole here uh, the way you set your cotton up is very important uh, as always with any RTA but uh, I'll show you how I have been setting this one up I've just popped some cotton through there and uh, just to, to point out the gap between the two terminal posts there is actually 5mm so I've taken my cotton um, and, and this is pretty much standard for any RTA that I've come across as I usually just, you know, you're always going to have an edge here of a build deck and I usually just put my scissors right up to that build deck and just snip same on the other side, scissors right up and snip just tidy that off a little bit right, what we're going to do here is you know, you've got your, your wick hole just under there and the way I've been doing it is I've just been fanning the cotton out and just wanting it to sit, just the leading edge of the cotton, just to sit in that little bit there, like that. Um, same on the other side. Just fan it right out. Don't pack it down. You just want the ends of the cotton to just sit on those wick holes, and that's it. That's how I've been working that deck. So for the dual coil deck, you've got uh, almost like a velocity style thing. You know, you've got your terminal block here, positive and negative. Uh, you've got one mil holes here and here and here and here. Okay, um, very easy to build on. Uh, so you've got air holes here, two two mil air holes here, and two two mil air holes on the other side. Uh, now this is uh, you'll have seen this on many other RTAs. Um, these holes here are your wicking holes here and you can see here and here and the same on the other side here and here that's where your juice comes through now uh, uh, this applies to all of these kind of tanks that work like this you know please don't stuff it down there you just want the juice that you just want your cotton to just loosely fit in there and you know what I was actually doing was making sure that my cotton was sitting down, just the tail was sitting down in there but then I was taking my little allen key and I was making sure that my allen key would sit in there as well and I could move it about that way I knew that I wasn't choking the wicking you know, there was still movement in there and that's what worked for me so there we go, just make sure you don't want any uh, anything overhanging you know, you don't want to get your cotton getting caught in anything so that's me, quite happy with that Right, here we have my chimney, uh, so you get a rough idea on the size of the chimney there inside, and this just screws on. Threading, lovely, no issues with the threading at all. Uh, as with all vape gear, please don't go cranking this down too tight, it's just I really would suggest you just want that finger tight. Now we're going to use the polycarb tank and this is where things get quite interesting. See the little cutouts going round there? Cutouts going round here as well. Well, if I just pop that down there. Now if you have a look down there just now, hopefully I don't know if you'll be able to see this right now, but just flow control open, just flow control shut off. Shut off, open. So you just turn it clockwise, that's it, open. To shut it off, just turn it the other way and that's it. It's really, really clever and really, really simple and I do like that about it. So I'm just going to throw a, well, actually, well, go on, I will. I'll, I'll throw in a, a ton of juice in here, there we go. 
and you know please make sure that your juice flow control is shut off before you do that um, I'm then going to take the top cap now the top cap does have the Hussar logo on it it does have this built in drip tip section which I'm not a huge fan of and, and that literally just screws on down there now I did complain about this top cap uh, having this little nubbly bit on it uh, but here's a party piece this actually pulls off and leaves you with this uh, you can fill the tank up just by pulling the top off uh, once again make sure that your juice flow control is turned off and there we go now there are accessories for this device um, if I just take that off again I did get sent on this top cap section as well and you can see that this just gives a, a more streamlined look going on there with uh, cooling vents and you can just pop your standard 510 drip tip in there that is quite nice that actually isn't it now I've popped the, the standard top cap back on uh, I do have to mention this and this is a drawback is that from here to here with the standard setup you are looking at 57 millimeters. that's quite a big tank ok it holds a crap ton of juice it really does uh, but it's it's quite tall um, this will take standard 510 drip tips but they also sell their own little drip tips which just pop in and just finish it off without making it look too massive but it is tall it is tall here's a, another top cap here and this this is actually the nano tank uh, this is the nano tank it's it's so small um, basically you just you can unscrew the deck from the, the big one and just pop the deck straight into here and it's it's just tiny it really is and I'm pretty sure this is just going to hold a couple of mil of juice but it's 34 millimeters in height uh, and it's cute as hell it really is cute as hell this little thing I just pop one of my sign mod drip tips on there and just to finish it off and I think we're going to go and vape this I don't have much else to show you uh, everything else I'm going to discuss up top and there we go we're back together and I'm on the, the little nano tank just now and 20 watts on a, a 1.1 1, 1 .1 ohm coil So where to begin with this? This tank, I really like. I like this tank a lot. Now, it is my favourite RTA this year so far. Hands down, it is. Um, however, in saying that, it does have some flaws. And it actually has, for me, a couple bit more... F right, let's just tell you. Now, things going for this as it comes standard I mean you, it's not the cheapest tank as I said at the beginning it fits in with you know toots roses and, and all that kind of stuff K funds and so on and for me personally the the standout thing for this is one the flavor the flavor is really really good it's not a million miles away from and, and I don't listen everybody's going to tell you something different but for me RTAs these days, uh, there are some sub £30 RTAs that are on par with stuff that is £150. That's a fact. Anybody that tells you different is, is talking through the Anyway, um, where it comes down for me is, is build quality, presentation uh, and all that kind of stuff. Yes, you're paying a lot more for it, but that applies to lots of things in life. And, and this is yeah, so you know, you know it's expensive, or more expensive than some other stuff. Um, but the vape quality is really, really nice. Um, it works with what I vape, uh, like my dessert flavours, just goose juice and cream tea and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I really enjoy it. So that's a, a big thumbs up from me, especially with the nano tank because it's a bit warmer. And um, yeah, I really do like that. I'm not a fan of warm vapes, hot vapes, but it's, it's nice. Um, the airflow is you are looking at a, a restricted lung hit fully open. You're looking at a, a very restricted lung hit when it's closed right off. Not a mouth to lung. Not in people that do mouth to lung will, will know what I mean by that. You know, you're not going to get that uh, 
you know, 1.5 mil draw experience with this. I don't think you are. Uh, I just think it's a very restricted long hit uh, when it's closed right off. Uh, but I still enjoy it myself. Uh, as far as uh, the single coil deck and the dual coil deck, I prefer the single coil deck just purely because I'm lazy. Um, and I just like sticking a single coil in. The dual coil deck is, it does wick well. It does wick well. Um, just, you know, go back to what I said during the build stuff, you know. As long as you get the wicking bang on, it'll perform well. I'm 30 watts on a 0 0.5 ohm coil in the dual coil deck, dual coil deck and it, great. It's just working great. All that's really good so far. Um, I love the accessories that you will be able to buy. I don't know the pricing for the accessories right now, but I know they're coming and they do kind of, it takes me back to the early K-Fun days, which I loved, uh, was all the accessories uh, and you could mix and match and change it up. And, and that does it for me on this device. I like that about it. Changing the decks out, dead easy. Um, the top caps, different one is really good. Um, the amount of juice that the standard tank holds, I'm not a fan of the default top cap. Uh, I like the filling method, it's very good. Uh, I love the juice flow control, the juice flow control is so simple, especially on this, I mean that's me closed, uh, sorry, closed, open, closed, open. So easy. So just remember always close it off anti-clockwise, uh, pull the top cap off, pop some juice in and open the juice flow. A doddle. It's an absolute doddle. Now I will say that on the big tank I am having, well let, let's show you. Uh, I am finding that if I just pop this off, there we go. Right, so there's the tank off just now. Uh, when I pop that on, I am finding that, you know, it turns, opens and closes no problem at all. It's nice and loose. However, that there seems to be that when I'm, I'm putting the top bit on, uh, it, it just seems to be compressing it a wee bit too much. And I, I need to make sure that I don't actually tighten the top cap down too far. If I do, it, it it makes the juice flow control well a bit of a pain in the arse to use so I think there might be a little bit of a tolerance off there I'm not 100% sure but if I tighten it right down it's causing me an issue um, I'm used to it now and I'm working fine with it the reason I say I think it's a tolerance thing that's out maybe is because it works so well on the nano um, but on the big tank it's just mm, a little ball hair out and I have to mention that I have to be totally open the thing is when it arrived it wasn't an issue but over the time that I've been using it um, it's just I don't know if I've, I've over tightened it and, and crushed an o-ring or something the chances are it was me I always break things I'm far oh, blood I shouldn't be allowed near things Two thumbs up from me, my favourite tank so far. As I said, it's not a million miles away from vape-wise from the other devices. It just works for me. It's what I like. You know, the Rose, the Toots and all that other stuff, exceptionally good tanks. I actually, I love the Rose V3, Rose 3. I really do love it. And the vape quality is on par with this. It's just the, the package that works better for me uh, and I personally once again I think that applies to a lot of things out there um, it's people's own how it gels with them um, because once again I think the vape quality is very similar to all these devices uh, and, and I've said that before and I, and I do get a lot of crap for saying that but I don't care <laughs> I don't care um, sometimes things get overhyped this vapes so much better than everything else in the market. Uh, anyway, um, I'm going to go back to the K fund comparison. Remember, those of you that had the early K funds, not the four, 
uh, but the early ones. Remember, how, actually, um, if you remember, remember getting these sections apart. Well, I'll put a pain in the arse. Uh, I mean, thank God for vape bands and marigolds, and uh, you know, I've still got my, my vape bands that I use all the time. Um, you needed them for, for the key funds. Um, now, what I find is that uh, you have the, your deck section, which has the, the almost like the knurling on it for the, the juice flow, the, the airflow control. Uh, because you have to turn. How can I put this? Because there's a lot of turning going on in various bits and bobs here. Um, sometimes I find that after using it for a, a, quite a while, uh, because I've been opening and closing the juice flow control, um, pushing down, um, I can just find that things get a little bit sticky. A little bit sticky. And I have found on a couple of occasions that I've had to get um, like a a rod or a, a thin screwdriver, stick it in the air hole and twist it to, to get the tank off. Um, it's more me being heavy handed than anything else, but it has happened, so I have to tell you. And at the end of the day, I did get this free for review. I did, I got it free for review. I actually contacted the guys at Hassar Vapes and told them I would like to buy another one. Um, because I like it that much. I do, I like it that much. I don't think it's without its flaws. As I said, you know, the, the juice flow control on in this section seems to be a bit iffy. Uh, and as I said, that, you know, after a long period of time, you know, all that turning going on, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm repeating myself now, but um, I would have, I, I would buy another one. Just, yes. Um, that's it. That's, that's all I've got. Um, once again, uh, there are various resellers across the globe for this. Um, you know, Oriental Vapes did arrange for this to come to me. Um, you know, you've got Hassar Vapes. Uh, there is another review out there. Um, I know Matthew at Woody's Bedroom Reviews, um, he did a review of this quite some time ago when the first batch came out. Um, so I would recommend going and watching that and get a, another viewpoint on this device. Um, go and have a look for it. I, I love it. I love it. It just clicks with what I like. And that's it at the end of the day. Uh, I'm not belittling any other device. I'm just, this works for me. <sighs> I'm waffling, haven't I? I'm talking shite now. I better go. Guys, as always, thank you for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye now.